Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from executeautomation.com and welcome to part 6 of our Cucumber with Selenium video series. And in this video, we'll be talking about working with multiple data using data table. And before watching this part, I would request you to watch part 5 since this part is going to be a continuation of that part. Alright, so let's get started. Let's all help to save tree, water and energy to save our motherly earth. So please, let's all try to do it from today onwards. Working with multiple data using data table. We might need to supply multiple data instead of hard-coded value passed in the steps. So in our previous video, if you have watched the part 5, we discussed about passing some value from a step definition using the string parameters and argument for a step definition from a feature file, which was kind of okay. I mean, if you have a single data which is going to be passed in, it's fine. But what if your step has got multiple values? Let's say you have username, password, first name, last name, email, phone numbers, address, etc. to be passed for a single step. Then surely if you pass them as an argument, then it's going to be a cumbersome even for the step definition method. So the best idea is to go with data tables. Again, in Specflow, if you have watched the video series in our Excel Automation channel, we have something called as a data table class in Specflow. And exactly the same is available in Cucumber as well for Java. So you have a class called data table, which is available in cucumber.api package. And you can perform a lot of different operation, meaning you can retrieve the value from the data table using its index of the column and the row index. And you can write some custom methods to get the value out from the row by passing or supplying the column name, which we are not going to discuss in this video series. We will be discussing about that in our advanced video series of Excel Automation channel, right? So as that said, this can be done using data table. So we have the option in Cucumber for Java implementation as well. So tables are not new in Cucumber, but according to Gherkin specification, the table exists in every tools, as I said before. So the tables in scenario are going to look something like this. You will have a pipe symbol and the first line of the table which you are seeing here, the username and password is always considered as the column name and following the first line are always considered as the column values. So you can have any number of values within beneath each and every column and you can have any number of rows as well. So let's start to work out then and see how things work. So for that, I'm going to flip to IntelliJ IDE. So this is the same project which we worked in our previous video. So we created a login feature file and we created some scenarios in there. And this is the steps that we created. And we also implemented those steps in here in the login steps class, right? So this time, instead of passing the username and password as this, by passing them as a double quotes and this double quotes value is being passed as a parameter for this method, I'm going to use the table. So you understand why we're going for table, right? If we have only two values, this scenario's step is totally fine. We can go with it. But what if there are so many values? What if there is username, password, address, email, phone, and first name, last name, so many things for a single step, then surely this kind of step is really going to suck. So for that reason, we are going to modify maybe this particular step to table, right? So I'm just going to replace this something like this. And I enter username and, and I enter the following details for login. And I'm going to say username. So as you can see, I'm typing a pipe symbol out there and password. Right. So for the username, I'm just going to type admin and for the password, I'm going to say admin password. Right. So you can see that right now this particular step is kind of highlighted. And the reason is because the step definitions implementation is not yet done. So we have to create a separate new step definition right now. So the old one that we have is completely obsolete and it has no meaning. So you can even delete that and you can save the particular class. And once you come back right here, you can just do alt enter and you can create the step definition in the login step. So right now you can see 
that it has created right here. But the bad news on Cucumber for Java implementation is the spec flow will automatically recognize that you have created a table and it will automatically add the data table class for you in the parameter. But it's not happening for Cucumber implementation of Java. I'm not sure why. Maybe there is some other way that you can get these things around. But that should be there out of the box. Right? And then what I'm going to do is right now you can see that there is not proper indentation of this particular table. So I would always prefer prefer to create a good indentation for this. All you can do is you can just hit the shortcut control alt L to format these two lines. And once it is done, it looks so pretty right now and then you can start working from there. Again, it's just a kind of nitty gritty details, but it's very, very helpful while you want to present your code to external world. All right, and now coming back right here, you can see that this data table is actually coming from the package cucumber.api and there is the data table, right? And this pending exception is not required anymore. So I'm just gonna remove that because we have implemented all the steps though. And now to access this particular data table, you can just type table dot, you can see there are different kinds of methods available like as list, as lists, as map, maps, cells, diff, and you can do a lot of different stuff. You can do a differentiation between two data tables. You can compare them and you can compare the tables rows. You can convert that to list and we will be discussing about converting a data table into list in our next video of this course and you can see that there are so many different things available. But the bad news is in C sharp we have something called as create dynamic instance method. So since C sharp support the dynamic keyword and you can on the fly convert a value into dynamic and you can then play around with it so the variable or the type will be resolved during runtime in Java those kinds of different super cool things are not available though but still there are some cool things available in Java as well so we can live with it for now but maybe in future maybe Java 10 or 11 they will include the dynamic keyword as well so yes you cannot do the create dynamic instance as you did in spec flow in Cucumber for Java implementation right all right and then there is some great news like get Kirkin rows this is cool and get table converter so there are different kinds of table converters available you can see that there are so many things available and we can deal about them in detail once we get into the advanced concepts of these things right but for now I'm just going to use the most plain and most used thing in the particular cucumber for Java implementation I've seen so many people using that just nothing but raw you can see there is a method called raw this basically returns a list of list of strings type. So you can basically see this implementation by just right clicking, go to implementation and it says that there is a JetBrine decompiler. So do you want to decompile the jar file to data table class? And I'm going to say yes because I'm not going to really do anything crazy out there. And you can just go and hunt for the code how they have written this. So basically the raw method is kind of cool you can see that right here I don't know where this method is actually sitting let me just expand this increase the font size go to implementation and you can see there is an implementation of this particular raw and you can see that this particular raw is actually returning you of type list of list of strings so in C sharp you have a implicitly typed variable called var where you can just type something like this and then you can just create data is equal to and then perform the operation. But unfortunately in Java we don't have a keyword called var. Hmm, so bad. So once again we have to give exact type there. So the exact type is nothing but list of list of string and string s is always capital. So you don't have a alternative way for that as well and the java.util.list is actually missing so you need to import the namespace again alt enter to get that reference included for you and then you can just do data dot 
and you can see this is the method which is actually coming from the list of list of string meaning there are two lists to get a single value so you sh you can do something like data dot get method and this is going to get the rows and uh, the column value so get of get of uh, zero uh, should returns you some value and something like that so let's try this and I will try to debug this and we'll see how things work so I'm just going to show you after debugging it so let's type like this data dot get of zero which is going to be the column I guess or maybe row I'm not pretty sure about that and zero there we go and then what if I type the same thing with zero of one All right save this and let's try to debug this code and see how things work so I'm just going to right click and I'm just going to debug this feature so once it hit there we'll see what is the value which is going to be uh, coming out of the debugger there we go we, we came here the cool thing is uh, the IntelliJ ID is really really cool because it shows you on the fly what is the size of the data uh, list and what is the value so you can just expand here the data and you can see that zero is the username right and one is the password so zero of one is going to be the admin password right so what is this so you can there's something called a quick watch kind of thing like evaluate expression if you hit evaluate you can see that it doesn't see the username which is zero of zero and zero of one is going to be password right so what is that value so you can just do a debugging I guess it's F8 that's the keyword so if I do F8 there we go you can go to the console there's a console out here you can see that it's it's gonna pin print the value for you there mm -hmm. no terminal all right so data of zero of zero what is this value it's going to return me the username as a result. Ah, okay. I think we should convert that to string. Uh, because of that, it's not printing, I guess. Do not cat array it to string. There we go. And F8. Let me type this. The value is because I'm not really getting the value out from the printed. Uh, Printed value, so the value is. So I'm gonna say it's the value is. Let's say I'm just gonna put two value is there. So save it, and let me try to run this thing. There we go. So the value is username, and the value is password. So since uh, we have not used the print ln there, it's not really so td out there so i'm just gonna hit this print ln just gonna save it for now all right and then if i try to run this you can see that just kind of pretty right now but you can see that the point is it will get the value out from a data table for you so this is how you can actually get a value out from a table in your cucumber so this is how you can work with multiple datas in cucumber for java implementation but in the next video we are really going to make use of instead of this raw which is kind of pain for me because it's not really uh, showing you any strongly typed value as i'm just passing in get up zero and get up zero to get the username and zero of one for the password i really want the exact value from a strongly typed way where i can just specify you know user dot username I get the value from the username and user dot password then I get the password so this is kind of cool right so we are going to do that in our next video of this particular video series so stay tuned guys once again thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day